welcome to the second part of my tutorial on curved English paper piecing. In this episode I'm going to show you how to sew your pieces together using a flat back stitch. So take your first two pieces to piece together, turn over the smaller piece, tie a knot at the end of your thread. So a quick way of doing this is put your needle on top of your thread, wrap it around your needle few times and holding the thread tight between your two fingers, your forefinger and thumb, pull your needle through and then that will give you a knot at the end of your thread. Turn the seam allowance of your bottom point like so. So a stitch to just secure it and then bring it up into the point. And then into the point of the opposite piece. So you're just working in these seam allowances here. So you're working across the seam allowance. Do a couple of stitches just to secure. And then we're going to leave this thread here, unthread your needle, cut another length of thread. As before tie a knot in the end obviously if it's got a knot in it already that's helpful okay tie a knot in the end and then turn your piece round go up behind the seam allowance again to bury your thread so a stitch to secure it and then take it across to that point in the smaller piece and just connecting the seam allowances like so so your points match either end so you're going to sew away from you and you're going to sew a flat whip stitch or a flat back stitch whatever you wish to call it and that means you're going to sew across the seam allowances without going through, if you put them together like the old fashioned way or the traditional way, you wouldn't get that curve nice, but you'd also be taking the thread through to the front. Whereas now, if you just sew across the back of the seam allowances, and still tiny little stitches and you're only just picking up a few threads worth of fabric. Ugh, I'm getting a knot, obviously. So you keep going all the way down and then because you're not going through to the front, in theory, your stitches shouldn't be shown at all, which is just lovely. <laughs> so carry on all the way down. Obviously my stitches are a little bit big, some more now and again, but as you're on the back it doesn't really matter. As long as you pull in your cotton quite tight so it's closing up the gap. As you can see I'm using a silver thread here, just a light grey uh, Aurofil silver which I find lovely and fine but strong enough to English, put English paper piece in and also the grey should more or less disappear as quite neutrals, dark grey, light grey, beige, they tend to just disappear when you've got different coloured fabrics. And I could reuse a red here I suppose, um, but silver's fine. So when you get to the end just bring the thread through the last couple of loops of stitches just to create a knot. Oops. and then cut your thread and then you should in theory see your stitches on the other side and if you do that's fine it's hand sewn after all so there's your first piece so then we're going to re-thread that piece that we that thread that we left on the other end and then you're just going to do a running stitch into the seam allowance 
just to carry you across to the next point. Like so. And you're going to get another small piece. Connect it like you did last time. So you're going to connect it this end first. Oops, with a couple of stitches. Then maybe a knot. And unthread that. Thread another length and then sew that end as you did before. Once you've completed your wings, joined your last two pieces together, got a nice circle. Give it a press from the front. Any little puckers like this will iron out or come out when you've removed your papers. So give it a good press, making sure that you get keep that nice sharp fold around your edges so for your needle turn applique. So then turn it over and then gently pull back the fabric like so. There's not much glue on here, but just pull it back and then gently remove the paper. And you shouldn't have sewn through the paper, but if you have, just give it a little tug and it should come out. So with these bits, obviously these bits are a bit more fragile because you've snipped the fabric. So just be careful. And gentle and if the fabric does fray a little bit that's fine it won't go anywhere you're gonna sew it all down anyway so just keep going pull out the fabric paper sorry and keep going all the way around Nice, wonderful ring. <laughs>